In this video, we are going to see how to insert data into database with AngularJS. Fine, this is a full fledged insert operation. You can see if you click, if you insert the text field and click on submit, you can see the data is getting saved into the database. You can see now if you insert another code 94 and it's for Sri Lanka and click on add, the data will be stored in the database. And you can see there is alert message popping up each time after clicking on add now it's 977 it's going to be the nepal country code if you click on nepal if you click on add it will say the data inserted and there is the data in the database fine now let me show you what the what are the files we require you will get the source code in the description along with the table this is a table which is inside the database test and this is a table and inside the table we have two columns the first one is ID and the second one is name and I'm going to start it from scratch that's why I deleted now if you see this insert operation is performed insert.php is called when you click on add we will see how to create it fine now we don't need the CSS part we're just going to focus on the angular JS part let me comment it and uh, you can see this is the div you can if you refresh it this is a div which has heading label input field and button it is the heading and we have label input button and again in label input button and then the submit button fine now this is a div which holds our text text field fine now we are going to make this div as an angular app how are we going to do ng hyphen app and you can give any name at present i'm going to give my angular app once you have to choose your div and you have to make this div as an angular app we have done it and then we are we are need to add another we need to add another attribute with ng controller this with the help of ng controller we can access inside text box you can see we have two text field over there to access these two text boxes we will use controller that's the reason why i have defined controller and to how controller is going to access controller is going to access with the help of the attribute ng model you can give any name i'm going to give code and it's ng country fine now if you click on submit there is going to be a function that is going to call I'm going to define it on angular JS by using ng click and this ng click can also be accessed using controller fine now nothing is going to get changed because we have not added uh, script tag let me remove it and start from scratch first of all we need to define an angular app to define an angular app what are we going to do is we are going to use a variable which is app and call angular dot module and we need to pass our app name here our app name is my angular app and then the second parameter would be an array get the app and use the controller function the first one would be the controller function name it will accept two parameter and then what this controller function you want to do so to access ng module we will receive a variable that is scope with the help of scope we can access the ng model and HTTP is for ajax operation fine i'm going to actually access the ng model i'm going to access the function and uh, define the function once i click on it i want an alert message to show up and this alert message will simply say you clicked if you refresh it and click on add it will say you clicked fine it's working that means we are able to access the submit button using controller fine now call the http and use the post operation we are going to submit two values to the file called insert.php so the first parameter would be the file name 
and the second parameter would be the data which you want to send we are going to send the object using key and value the key would be in semi uh, the key would be in quotes and the value would be simply the hard value fine we are going to send two values that's that we need to pair of key and value i'm going to copy and paste it fine so the key is the key can be anything let me give me leave the id and names as a name and it's the value the value is simply the model ng model in in, the, in if you say the ng model is simply the come insert box input field fine i have copy pasted the ng model now to access it we need the scope variable scope dot we can access the ng model or the click by using the scope model scope variable sorry for that now it has an another function which is success once the data is once the data sent successful and if you get proper reply that means if the insert.php has run without any error you will get an alert even if there is an error it will show the error as an alert fine let's get into the insert.php the first line simply says we are going to get the connection for the database localhost or root and uh, this third parameter is password and the fourth parameter is simply the database name now we need to get the input data using the function called get file get contents and uh, we need to convert it into an array to convert it to a json or uh, we don't have to convert to array we need to convert it into json object fine now we are going to receive the two variable which we have sent using angular angular js and we have received it as id and names let me change it to code and country you can give any name i'm giving it code so give it code and names in just replace it with country fine now just insert these two variables into the query and replace the variable name you can see insert into country country is a table name and id and name is the column of the table and these are the values which we are going to pass and if the data is successful you are, you will get and if the query is successful you will get data inserted and if the query is not successful you will get simply the error as an alert so we would get either two value which is data inserted or error on the alert fine now if we try to insert but now you can see the database is empty there is no value let's try to insert some value 91 is for india if we click on add you will see data inserted that means data data is inserted properly and you can see once you click on add the data is not getting the old data is not getting disappeared so after alert what i need is i want the text field to have value null fine if you click on add you can see data inserted properly and if you click on ok the data is gone let's add another way another data which is nepal if you click on ok you will see three datas which we have already added fine thank you so much for listening get the source code in the description